remembers a series called The Settlers, which was, I think, a 1990s franchise that crossed over into the 2000s. Hugely, massively successful series. Amazing. I sunk hundreds of hours into certainly the original ones, the one, two, and three. Well, this is Pioneers of Pagonia. I think I've said that right. So this is a demo that we're taking a look at today. This game's coming to Steam in December 2023. I'm going to start off with the easiest map. I'm going to go through the first maybe 20 minutes of the gameplay. This demo is available for free to play on Steam right now if you want to pick it up i'll put a link in the description so the city builder pioneers of pagonia is all about exploration discovery and reuniting the fantastical islands of pagonia build over 40 different buildings use more than 70 different types of goods manage widely branched production chains and get creative in establishing your economy this is a game from envision entertainment so the first thing you've noticed, there's loads of stats all along here. My immediate impression of this game was one of, oh my gosh, how this looks really complicated. But actually, once you get into it, it's not so bad. Mini map down here and you've got your building mechanics down the bottom. And over here, I would focus on your objectives. So it's telling you to build an explorer's hut, build guard towers. So let's do that now. The first thing you want to do is, is set down a road. So you go to the road icon here, click on the road icon and we're going to pick a Sorry, I say a road, I meant a path. We're going to do a path from here, from the boat, and we're going to drag it all the way maybe to about here. So that path is now there to allow the people that are on the boat to get on shore. So it's asking us to build an explorer hut. We're going to do that now. Exploration, expansion. We've got the guard tower here. We've got the explorer's hut here. So the explorer's hut will cost us four stone, four softwood trunk. That's fine. We've got plenty. Up here, we've got 120 stone, 120 trunk. So we can easily build this. So let's do this now. So I think what we'll do, rotate it, but just connect it to the, connect it to the path and start the building process. Bang, there we go. Now what's going to happen here is that the little workers are going to start grabbing Grabbing resources. I'm gonna take this log. I'm gonna take this stone. And you can really zoom in on them. It's very, very cute. And this is the people, number of people I've got on the ship right now. This is the stock balance on the ship. But clearly they're gonna use the resources first. Off they go and they're off to build this wonderful explorer hut. And over here, you can see a little wild deer. How cute. So there is combat in this game, by the way. So you go against AI or potentially other players as well. In fact, everything you think of the settlers is in this game. We're also going to build the guard tower now. We're going to do that over here. Like I say, there is a battles. In fact, this is actually a good location for the guard tower because it's right in the middle of our right in the middle of our territory, isn't it? So these guys, these little guys here, are going to just start doing their thing. And do you know what I used to love about the settlers is that you can just sit back and watch them work. Although it is all about getting your main buildings down. Sometimes it's fun just to watch them work. So the next thing we need to build is a woodcutter hut. Now I noticed that there's like woodland here. So it makes sense to put the hut around here. Under wood and stone, we're going to look for the woodcutter hut, which is here. It's going to cost us four softwood trunk. That's fine. And then we're going to connect it to the connect it to the path that we've created. I'm going to click on this and you'll notice that this marker comes up. Well, that's where you're going to send the woodcutter to. So actually over here, you've got the focus point and over here you've got the felling all trees. But in this case, I'm going to make the woodcutter focus in for, at these trees. You can see they're all highlighted. So he's going to go and start. Is that the, we haven't got a woodcutter yet, not until the hut's built. But then this is the woodcutter's area. They're going to start working these trees. Now we need to build a quarry. Build a quarry close to some stone deposits to gather stone as construction material for basic buildings. You may have to expand your territory. I think we probably should. Ah, this is a really good area here. So this is being built at the moment. I'm wondering if I can send this dude over here and whether that claims the land. We'll find out in a minute, I guess. It's worth keeping an eye on that. So yeah, here we are. They're building this, which is really cool. And then once we get the Explorer, let's follow him and see if he unlocks this land. Because if he does, we can claim this quarry, right? Oh, in fact, we can already do it because I think the line here represents our border. But we'll see anyway. We'll see if it makes a change. This building is now open. And so we'll see if there is an Explorer coming in. Hopefully there is. I don't actually know who he is yet. Is there anyone here that's uh, an explorer that's going to come in? You're going in there, aren't you? Staff incoming. Okay, so they're the three explorers. So guys, I want you to go and explore over here. I've already set the marker. Can you please do your jobs and go over there? 
They're not going, are they? They're not moving. I set the waypoint there to go. Oh, maybe because it's not in my land. What if I do it there? Oh, okay. They're just lazy. We've got lazy explorers. This is the worst. Right. Who have we got here? We've got three tree cutters and they're going to go into the forest now and do their thing. Let's have a look. They're going to go murder and butcher beautiful trees. There he goes. All right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to build the quarry somewhere around here and I'm going to connect the path here so let's connect the path first of all and let's drive the path over this way and then what we're going to do is quarry can go oh man i really want to push this out this way yeah so i can't build in there yet so i'm going to connect him here i can make him go over here right in theory we got the guard tower now so we can start building an army building the guards the workers are on their way there they are there's our military and then we'll get them parading i don't know how we do the parading i guess we do set patrol point or we do focus point so what i'd like to do is just have them maybe roaming set patrol point oh you can only do it once okay that's a bit weird isn't it but let's just have them patrolling this area here Okie dokie, so that's that. We're getting the quarry done. The wood choppers are doing, hopefully doing their job. Let's do a sawmill next. We'll put the sawmill by the woodcutter house. That makes that makes sense, right? Eight softwood that's going to cost me. And it's going to cost me three sawmill workers. But it produces beams, boards and firewood. That's quite useful. I'm going to put that next door. Or across the path, should I say. So we're going to move this to maybe there. What is that? Is a rabbit and oh, look little butterflies that rabbit looks huge by the way oh our explorers are here oh okay they're looking for resources aren't they they're going and picking things i think like leaves and flowers and like that kind of stuff what we want to do is start hunting i think right we've got to do a stonemasons build two stonemasons oh we need a second guard tower as well build two stonemasons to produce border stones and cut stones border stones are used by guards in guard towers to expand your territory ah so what if we put another one here and then that will push us into the quarry right am i right that makes sense so i am going to put that there and that should push our border and then i've got two guard towers kind of each side which works really really well we'll do the stonemasons so where's the stone is there any oh we'll do it by the quarry so this is the quarry so it makes sense to have the stonemasons along here am i right or am i right and actually i really need to put a forester in as well to to plant stuff so there's the quarry there's the stonemasons so we'll put one there and we'll put one there lovely that's my stone area right we really need to also put down a forestry which is this i guess and i'm going to put him down next to the woodcutters and he is going to focus on this area because i want him to keep planting in this area so as they're cutting them down he is replanting so we do need to build another quarry we need to build a forager and we need to build a hunting lodge and cottages for the workers now what's our resources like we're okay on resources so wood wise we've got trunks we've got 110 stone 90 copper we've still got residence eight available 128 for, for duty and then as you go along so here this is wood so you've got the trunk you've got the beams the hardwood boards so we should start seeing resources grow there because we've put down the sawmill and then obviously the stone we've got the stone cutters will now be able to create border stones and cut stones as well i'm going to put down a second quarry because i think this is a really good location for quarrying but first i'm actually going to wait for the guard tower because and i'm actually going to put the guard tower as high priority i don't know if we can do this can i put it as priority up here normal priority but actually high priority and the reason why is because i want us to expand the border so that I could put another quarry down. So this is now my priority to expand my border. Let's watch this a little bit while it goes. I think we're doing quite well here. Uh, I'd like to, oh, you can see that this forest is being heavily chopped down. So we really do need this forestry guy working. So he needs to be up and running to so preparing the terrain. Oh, look at these guys working away. So one thing I've noticed is that there is a bit of a, a weird block thing going on with the people. 
as you can see, they, they, they're not quite smart enough to walk around. So they end up just getting stuck like that. <laughs> they just stand there for a bit. So if you're really in a hurry trying to get things done, that can be kind of annoying, I guess. Look at this line of workers. I will say so far that I think this game is magnificent. I this this is a game I will definitely really enjoy to play on a live stream. The settler's itch that I've had for many years, having to download the original games and play them and then think, oh, actually, they're really they're really old and dated and they don't fit widescreen and whatever. Now I've got a settler's alternative, a true proper one. I don't like the new, I don't know about you guys, I don't like the new settler's ones. They're too complicated and they're not really settlers anymore. Whereas this is really, really simple. And look, there we go. You can see there, Putting the guard tower down has resulted in the quarry being opened up. Now, I am actually going to put the guards in the quarry area because this is going to be a really valuable area. We're going to expand the road into the quarry if we can. Can we? No, we can't. Oh, the border still remains. OK, but if I do that, I can at least put the quarry here next to the other quarry. Am I right? Or am I right? So we do have mining here as well, which is really awesome. All right, where's the quarry? Come on, where are you? You're here, right? That's you. So let's spin it around. There. Second quarry going in. We've also expanded up here, which is amazing. And that could be a good place for the hunters because I notice there's a lot of kind of rabbits around this area. Look at all these wild animals. It makes sense to put the hunters up here and then the guards are in a good position as well. So I think what we can do here is run a road around the back of these buildings and then up here like that and then i'd like to put a hunting lodge up the top if i can find it it's going to be oh we've got treasury and storage lovely <laughs> you got a little market oh that's a military academy okay there's loads of cool little buildings here oh you got farmland i love that a well a windmill bakery sorry i'm getting si sidetracked but there's a hunting lodge OK, so a forager's hut, they're going to go and look for wild berries and stuff like that. I think we should do that. This could be our food section. You know, at the mall, the shopping center mall, you know how you get like a food court? Well, this is going to be my food court, hunting lodge and a berry hunter. And the hunting lodge, I want him to really go up here and hunt these animals because look at them all. And then foraging. Well, I think maybe I don't know. There seems to be loads of plants here. Should we just push him over here? So he can produce raspberries. Ah, look at this quarry here. So these are the quarriers, quarriers, quarry guys. And they've decided to go to this place, which makes sense because it's probably safer. What have you got? I wish you could click on them and see what they've got. Oh, he's expanding the... Um... Is he expanding the border manually? I want to see what he's doing. Or is he just cutting rocks? <laughs> that's so cool they actually go and manually expand the uh the borders all right so these guys probably it might be worth us sending them over to these stones here and then these guys i see so you're really going to the stones more than you are the quarries i think these guys is this stone is this stone here actually do you know what let's just send them both there seems to be quite a lot of rocks over here so maybe we should just send them both there I just want to see the hunters really as well. You've got the build well, build quarries. We've done that. Construction camp. Raise more buildings, construction camps and resting uh, points for your diggers, builders. Okay. And a wood workshop and cottages and a guild hall for training. So you'll be able to train new craftspeople and construction workers. Oh, look over here. There's, oh, where's our hunter? Instead of hunting rabbits, let's go and get them. Is there anywhere else that's, oh yeah, look. And obviously, the more the, the more you expand, ah, oh, look, copper. Oh, and this is what the foragers do. They get these mushrooms or whatever they are and see what they're doing over here. Is there any stone cutters? He's a stone cutter. Oh, no, these guys are just literally expanding. I really want to see the hunter at work. I'm going to make this a priority building. We are expanding fast, aren't we? I didn't even think this through. So that's copper. That's copper. That's coal. So I wonder at what point the battle the battle comes into play because what happens inevitably is somewhere on the map you'll have like AI potentially who will then build as well and then they'll come and attack you. It's a bit like StarCraft 2, you know, that kind of 
well, any game like this where you need to defend yourself. What I used to do on Settlers, actually, is I did used to build up the military and then I would go and do an early attack and it would hold them off and it would allow me to expand quicker than them. I'd always fail on my first attack, but I would take out quite a lot of their resource. I want to see if he's planting trees because at the moment I can't see any new trees being planted. And it may, all I can see is trees being felled. And I'm, I'm worried that I'm not producing enough new trees. I mean, it's a huge map. It doesn't matter. Well, it's not that big, but it's still big enough for resource. Although there's not that many trees. There's some here, some up here. Oh, there's a load here, actually. So that's fine. We could just get him to go over there. Now, you can see on the ship, we've still got quite a lot of resources. I really want to see this hunter's lodge go up. Oh, construction material missing. Have we run out of trunks? Softwood? No, we've still got 87. Oh, I think they're just waiting for it to be delivered. Come on. You know you want to build this. All right, it looks like it's going to take a little bit of time. I have got quite a lot of stuff happening. All righty, well, look, I'm definitely going to do this as a live stream. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this game. I'm looking forward to getting more into this. I'm definitely going to have this game on my watch list for when it comes out in December. Meanwhile, you can go and grab the demo for yourself right now. Thank you very much. This has been the Pioneers of Pagonia, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. So long. Bye-bye. Go get this demo. Go get it and wishlist it. Bye.